Hey. Oh, yeah, I'm down here. Keith Stanball, School of Woodlawn Common Sense. Look what I found. Found this digging around in the house. It was uh, my new love's father's knife, uh, an old butcher knife. And, um, well, good knife. It's carbon. Talk about a knife for carrying in the woods. You need a, a big stab and honker. Um, there's discussion I've seen on some, like in, um, what was it, uh, Backwoods Magazine. There have been discussions amongst some historians and such that um, Jim Bowie's knife may have even been just a kitchen knife. But I do know a lot of the old mountain men, a lot of long hunters, their long knives that they got the nickname for being long knives weren't much more really than trade knives or kitchen knives like this. This thing, no blood, dullard and squat at the moment. So uh, we're going to do a part two here for a sharpening. And this one here is definitely could use it. So I'm going to get my butt up out of the out of the camera signs and we'll do this. All right, here we go. She's only gotten a 3 one hole yet, so we're still using WD-40, which do a job that I prefer. There we go. Okay, like I did before, well, let's take a look here. Make sure we've got a little thin. You see where I'm taking the metals off at of the edge. Not so much, not quite so far back. Keep looking this side for a while. This thing I don't think is going to show up probably about 25 30 years. So. If not, we're going to This is definitely a good sized knife. It'll be a good, good knife for carrying the woods. And make a damn good cooking knife. Carl nut, venison. Roast and raw geese and stuff, fresh and out there. My father even had a knife of this size that was carbon that he used quite often whenever we did barbecue. So, yeah, oh, this is taking this is taking edge really nicely. And since my old carbon knife, as you saw, saw in one of my videos, has grown legs in my house, I use this to really find it. I'm going to put just a little bit of weight. I'm not going with a big, big gap, just a little bit of one. I'm not quite laying that blade down. I don't want to do that. I'm working on getting some of this old team off though. Oh yeah. That's definitely getting there. Working this tip more. Blade's definitely getting there. It is getting there. All right. Well, anyway, so we found a, a new old knife, and I have run across these things in uh, flea markets and stuff for like, you know, anywhere from a dollar to five dollars, and they can still be found. Old carbon kitchen knives, like this. they're really good knives for carrying to the woods. They really are. They're good and handy. Keep in mind, they ain't machetes. They're not axes. They got uses of different means, but they're out there. So, anyways, y'all enjoy, and we'll see you on the next one. We're working on rabbit hunting videos at the moment, and 
Right now I'm proving why they call it rabbit hunting instead of rabbit getting. I gotta, I gotta figure this one out. I gotta come up with different means of hunting. And I'll get it. And I'll, once I do, I'll show it to you all and we'll continue on. Meanwhile, you all enjoy. It's good to see you. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your early fall.